Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 25th of July. PM Modi tears into India opposition alliance as parliament logjam continues. Border situation has eroded strategic trust. India's NSA Doval tells China. And beauty salon ban comes as blow to financial freedom of Afghan women. And now for all the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi tore into the newly formed INDIA Opposition Alliance during the BJP's parliamentary party meeting on Tuesday, which discussed a strategy to counter the ongoing parliamentary ruckus over the Manipur issue. Senior BJP leaders informed the Prime Minister came down heavily on the opposition lawmakers for continued disruptions since the monsoon session began. He claimed that their conduct suggests that they have decided to remain in the opposition. The sad and tired opposition will disintegrate further, he said. And they made a that Indian National Congress East India Company. Also, PM Modi had made remarks about the violence hit Manipur state outside the parliament as the monsoon session began. The government has said it is ready for discussion, but the opposition has been adamant for PM's statement in the parliament. We have not seen Minister और यदि इंडिया से उनको इतना ही इससे नाराजी है तो अपना बीजेपी फॉर इंडिया हैंडल खत्म करें स्टार्टअप इंडिया ये इंडिया वो इंडिया हर चीज में इंडिया करते हैं और इंडिया का नाम पर हमें गर्व है इसमें क्या बात है and India's national security advisor, Ajit Doval, met his Chinese counterpart, Wang Yi, on Monday on the sidelines of the BRICS NSA's meeting in Johannesburg. During the meeting, the Indian side conveyed the ongoing situation at the line of actual control with China and said the border tussle has eroded the trust and public basis of the relationship between New Delhi and Beijing. NSA Doval emphasized the importance to restore peace and tranquility to bring normalcy in bilateral relations, a statement said. The relations between the two Asian supergiants nosedived in 2020 after a clash between their armies in India's Galwan Valley. Mm -hmm. On several occasions in the past, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar has said ties between India and China cannot be normal until Beijing starts adhering to the past agreements. And in an unprecedented move, Pakistan's Senate has approved the contempt of Parliament bill local media reported on Tuesday, over a month after the National Assembly passed it. The bill will, however, need the assent of the President before becoming a law. It proposes imprisonment for up to six months and a fine of up to rupees one million. This comes at a time when there has been government versus judiciary power tussle with lawmakers accusing judiciary interferes in the domain of the executive. Reports suggest the law can be challenged in the superior courts that may withhold its implementation. Moving on, locals in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir are upset over the cut in subsidy on flour and runaway inflation while they face the ripple effects of the economic crisis in Pakistan. Traders in Rawalkot are on a sit-in protest for the past several days to demand reinstatement of previous subsidies and revocation of illegal taxes on electricity and other basic necessities. There have been several protests over the issue and locals blame the government has been both negligent and systematically discriminatory. They want they will hold massive rallies if their demands are not resolved soon. <laughs> लेकिन बदकिस्मती है कि पाकिस्तान का इतना जालमाना और जाबराना कब्जा है कि यहां हर मतालबे के लिए हर मामले के लिए लोगों को इतजाज करना पड़ता है आटे पर सब्सिडी जो हमारा बुनियादी हक है वो भी आजाद कश्मीर में कायम महकमा खुराक 
और मिल माफिया और इनके ठेकेदार मिल के जो सब्सिडी है वो खा जाते हैं हमारी पूरे हिस्से इस पूरे खत कश्मीर के अंदर जो है इस हवाले से हमारी एहतियाती रैलियाँ भी निकाली जाएंगी और एहतियाती मुजाहरे भी किए जाएंगे हम हुक्मरान तबकत से इस हवाले से ये मुतालबा करते हैं कि हमारे जो मुतालबात हैं उस पर संजीदगी का मुजाह करते हुए ये अवामी मुतालबात हैं Well floods caused by heavy monsoon rain spell in Afghanistan have killed at least 30 people and washed away homes leaving behind a trail of destruction. An official of Disaster Management Ministry said that 26 deaths occurred in Jalrais district, four in capital Kabul and a total of over 70 were injured in both the districts. Taliban spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid called on aid groups and the Kabul administration to help the bereaved families. Although Afghanistan lies on the western edge of the Asian monsoon footprint, flash floods happen regularly during the wet season as heavy rain courses down dry riverbeds. <laughs> یاد لکشته از رفتار از دربار دخیل بود که دلیل ما با تانکر فوزلوب تخلیه کرده رویشیم. دیگر پوینت بگذار ما هم بسیار زیاد خراب. And after years of hard work and huge investments to build their businesses, Afghan women closed their beauty salons with a heavy heart as the Taliban's ban on parlors for women comes into effect today. Salon employees in Afghanistan wrapped up their staff to shut their shops as Taliban's ban on beauty parlors comes into effect. from Tuesday the salons provided afghan women with a female only space where they could meet outside their homes without a male chaperon makeup artists said they invested large sums to get their businesses off the ground and now due to the latest decree they are facing darkest days of their lives according to industry estimates more than 60000 women will lose their jobs and 12000 businesses are likely to shutter یکی از بدترین روزا و سیاه‌ترین روزای زندگی ما دارم تجربه می‌کنم و یکی ناامیدی مطلق از اینکه کار شروع کردیم بس سرمایه از زندگی همه چیز و علاقه شو هدف همه چیز بس هر روز فرار که روی فرار مال فعلا وجود نداره فرار کنیم از کشور بریم یک جایی که بتونیم از راه آزادتر بهتر زندگی کنیم دیگه راه نیست Dozens of women also staged a protest last week against the ban, but Taliban used water hoses and fired shots into the air to break up the protest. The Taliban has already closed down high schools and universities to women and stopped many Afghan female aid staff from working. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina met a Nepalese counterpart Pushp Kamal Dehel on Monday on the sidelines of the ongoing UN Food Systems Summit. The two leaders held talks regarding enhancing collaborations in agriculture and hydropower, a statement from the Nepalese side said. The meeting takes months after India's agreement to support the export of hydroelectricity power from Nepal to Bangladesh. Local media reports have suggested under the agreed trilateral trade, Dhaka plans to import at least 9,000 megawatts of power till 2040 and is likely to invest in power-related projects in Nepal as well. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.